when you need just a little tug to come a long way. Today I am proud to announce our newest servo winch, the Tug Buddy. You asked for it and we delivered the tugs, the Tug Buddy. The Tug Buddy is our newest winch. I know we haven't really had a lot of them, but this one is designed off of the 500 LP with quite a few changes to the electronics, but very small in size, very, very tiny and light, but really packs a big wallet. The Tug Buddy comes with your connection wire, the JST, and it also comes with the normal spool. It does not come with your spool line and it does not come with your hook because I figure most of the people want to spec their own. The line that I spec may be too thick or too thin for you. So y'all know how to deal with that though. If you're getting a winch, you probably already know the best places to get kite string, essentially. Nylon kite string, kite X kite string. There's all sorts of things that you can use, but comes with our spool. There we go. And that's what it is. It's just a tiny little direct power from 2S to 4S LiPo direct. I think it'll actually go down to five volts, no problem, but we spec it at, I believe six on there. It's on the website, all the specs. And this sucker is fast. It doesn't have a fast gear set in it though. It has a really fast motor in it. And that makes it to where it pulls, if I remember correctly, it's about, well, it's like 2.8 feet. Oh, I'm sorry, the other way around. 2.8 seconds per foot of pull on 4S LiPo and it's like 3.2. The exact specs are on the website. Y'all can look there to see the most updated specs. Like 3.2 feet, I'm sorry, seconds per foot of pull on 3S LiPo. And it'll pull, uh, let's see, on 3S LiPo with a one inch horn, it'll pull about 555 ounce inches and 666 ounce inches on 4S LiPo. So way stronger than a winch needs to be, honestly. But super fast and it has a whole lot of control. Lots and lots of low speed control. Uh, it's, it's basically proportional like a normal speed controller would be connected to it, which the controller is built internal to the ESC here. So no worries about that. And it's very smooth, which is really what took us a lot of time on this was that we wanted to not be jumpy like our first winch was and to have as much linear throttle as you would want to use. So if you want to actually assign a trigger for this winch, you can do that and you can infinitely adjust the speed pretty much, or you can set it up on a switch and whatever your settings on the switch. So if it jumps by 25% for every switch hit, you're going to get 25% of your speed for every switch hit there. It also has a hold brake on here. So as you can see, when it's not powered up, I can turn this guy by hand. When it is powered up, the hold brake function makes it to where I cannot by hand turn this guy. I have not yet been able to find a rig that'll make it creep when you don't want it to. And it will pull up to a quarter amp in hold brake mode. And uh, when it's normally just idle, it's like 60 milliamps of current. Pretty standard for a servo really, or a servo winch. So yeah, I try to get everything that we really needed to in here, the smoothness, the hold brake, nice linear throttle, no matter where you are in the position, the small size, really high speed and obnoxious amount of torque to tell you the truth for winch. This is not a toy. This is something where you can seriously injure yourself if you get wrapped up in the rope. I do not recommend that you just hand this off to a kid, honestly. I mean, you, you could like, take a finger off with this thing. So it's not quite as powerful as our old winch was. Uh, the motor in here is a little bit shorter and it was way overkill. That old one was snapping lines at hundred pounds of pull. You, you probably don't need a full hundred pounds of pull in a RC rock crawler. So we, we went much smaller on this guy. It's extremely efficient. It's very powerful. It's very fast. It's all the things that you would want in a tug buddy. When you can't get there by yourself and you need just a little helping hand, the tug buddy has your back. So there you have it. If you do have any questions, maybe there's something that I missed on this, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to get to them. And otherwise, as always, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Connect a tug buddy to your front end and it'll get you there. It's a full pull. Everybody loves a good tug.